Hi, this is Andrew Carlson, Applications Engineer from Ceratech, and welcome to our Tips and Tricks tutorial series. Thank you for watching this video before we get started. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials. If you have any suggestions or specific requests for tutorials on topics that you'd like us to create, please add them in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions about anything covered in this tutorial, please be sure to ask your questions in the comments below. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, please check out our other videos here on YouTube channel. We also offer our online customer enablement series held on the first and third Thursdays of each month, which is a 30 minute free live video tutorial series where our software experts will share tips, techniques, and knowledge that will help you sharpen your skills. To sign up for this series, please contact us at info at saratech.com. The email will also be in the comments for that. In this video, we're going to show how to restrict access to certain workflows. By default, Team Center will allow all workflows to be visible to a user. So if we select Control P on the item revision, we're given a list of all of the workflows that can be used. We want to restrict this access to, let's say, production release. So what, we, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and say Edit options. This will take us to a panel that opens up many uh, different uh, availabilities here. So we'll hit search. And then if we say workflow underscore use, it will allow us to see there's a use legacy template filter option. This is one of the preferences in Team Center. This preference controls whether we use uh, the out-of-the-box filtering or a different mechanism. So what we want to do is we want to edit this and what it says down here is it, true will say use the legacy type and group based template filter. This will allow us in Workflow Designer to use the template filter instead of what we're currently using. So we'll say true here and then we'll go ahead and hit save. Now we can close out of this and go into Workflow Designer taking into consideration that we are DBA so we'll go into Workflow Designer. And then from here, we'll go ahead and say Edit Template Filter. We want to choose the group that we're going to be a part of or the group that we want to access this, which is Engineering Rapid Start. And then we'll also pick the item type. So if we type in here Item Revision, we can hit Enter on that and choose the production release to go into that left side. We'll hit OK. And that will allow only the 60 production release workflow to be available to the engineering rapid start group. So if we go back to my team center and we try to access this as DBA, we see that there are no templates now. We can't actually start a workflow because we've been restricted. Now, if we change our group to engineering rapid start, our groups and roles have changed. Now, we should see that we have that 60 production release available and nothing else. So we can send this to restrict the access uh, based on what workflows are in our system and we don't have to see a, a bunch of other workflows that may not have anything to do with our work. So that is how you would go about restricting the workflow access for certain users and groups. Um, thank you for watching this video and please remember to like it and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials. And if you have any suggestions or specific requests for tutorials on topics that you'd like us to create, please add them in the comments. Also, don't forget to check out our, uh, our other support videos here on our YouTube channel and tune into our customer enablement series held on the first and third Thursdays of each month if you'd like to get more helpful information. Thank you very much. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.